for the 2011 session now and the new fight over driver's licenses. Tonight was the first time for the public to have their say about a new driver's license that would not require proof of citizenship. K2's Bob High is here now. And Bob, that debate brought a huge crowd to Salem for really a, a rare night hearing tonight, right? That's right, Steve. Those backing the new license, which would only be used for driving, say 30,000 people in Oregon already can't drive legally under the law, and that will grow to 80,000 in the next few years as current driver's license expires. Opponents say that's just fine. Supporters of the new privileged driver's license that would not require proving you're a citizen to get gathered on the Capitol steps. They came to support people like Miguel Vargas. He can't legally drive in Oregon. This bill is important for me because it will help me, me and my family to continue on and on with, with my kids to drive them around and give them what they need. Backers of Senate Bill 845 say a 2008 change in driver's license rules requiring Oregon drivers to prove citizenship forces some workers to drive illegally and without insurance, dangerous for everyone on the road. If I have a, a, a car accident, uh, I want to make sure that the other driver uh, has an insurance, has a license, so I can do the claims. But opponents say anyone who can't document where they're from legally shouldn't be on Oregon's roads. The change this bill would undo, they say, led to a 90% drop in people illegally trying to get driver's licenses at Oregon DMV offices. That 90% reduction has remained in force. The bill is working. I have empathy for anybody, that, but, but when you come here illegally, you commit crimes and you expect privileges that are only offered to U.S. citizens, that's a problem. Opponents point to the first state to allow drivers privilege cards. Tennessee repealed that law after a scandal involving drug cartel shipping drug runners there so they can get driver's licenses. But backers say similar laws in Washington State, New Mexico, and Utah, Steve, work just fine. I just get more heated by the day, no yeah, question absolutely. about it. We'll follow it. Thank mm -hmm. you, Bob. And of course, as you can mention, we're getting a lot of comments from you on our Facebook page. Cheryl Boje writes, if they are given the right to drive, then they should legally work and pay into taxes. Janine Walters Ray says, no, our House has other things to worry about right now, while Bill Green writes, they come here, they get food stamps, welfare money, medical. Now they get to drive legally. Lawmakers just keep giving them reasons to keep pouring over the border. Well, you can join the conversation by going to our Facebook.com slash K2 News site to give us your thoughts on this issue as well as any other.